Today this video is about Pablo Picasso. Pablo Picasso is one of the world's most famous painters. Picasso had become the most influential painter of the early 20th century. Not only did his many personal relationships with women seep into his artwork, but Picasso's demeanor symbolized him in the popular imagination as the bohemian modern artist. He was a Spanish painter, sculptor, printmaker, stage designer, poet, and playwright. A pioneer in painting, Pablo contributed greatly to symbolism and surrealism. Pablo Picasso's paintings are divided into five periods. It is Blue Time, Rose Time, African Period, Mathematics Time, and Classical Period. His paintings, which include the Blue Period from 1901 to 1904, are predominantly blue and formal green. During the Pink Period from 1904 to 1906, pink color can be seen in most of the paintings done by his hand. The period from 1906 to 1909 is known as Picasso's African period, as his works were clearly inspired by African art. The Mathematic period is the period from 1909 to 1912 when Picasso made most of his works in simple colors and geometric shapes. Those works belong to the period of synthetic mathematics. Critics say that Pablo Picasso's works after the First World War belong to a neoclassical style. One of Pablo Picasso's most famous works is the painting called Garnica, which was created to mourn the bombing by the Germans during the Spanish Civil War. Garnica's depiction of the inhumanity, brutality, and hopelessness of war was returned to Spain in 1981 after years on display at the New Museum in New York. It was initially exhibited in the Castle del Brian Terro, and since the opening of the Reina Sofa Museum in Madrid in 1992, the painting has been exhibited there to this day. During his lifetime, this unique artist produced more than 50,000 designs. It includes 1885 paintings, 1228 sculptures, 12,000 general drawings, and thousands of paintings on curtains. Many of these are on display in the Musée de Paris, and Picasso's birthplace in Malaga, Spain, has been turned into a museum today. Most of his early works are on display at the Musée Picasso in Barcelona. Some of Picasso's works are also among the most expensive paintings in the world. His Gherkin La Pipe sold in 2004 for 104 million US dollars. In 2006, his Art Dora Mar AU Chat was sold for 95 million US dollars. Pablo Diego José Francisco de Paula Juan Nopamuceno Maria de los Remedios Cipria de la Santissima Tranamidi. Ruiz Y. Picasso This artist with the longest name is known to the whole world as Pablo Picasso. He got such a long name because he added the names of saints and relatives of the Picasso family to his name. Pablo was born on October 25, 1881, in the city of Malaga in the Andalusia region of Spain. Born to a middle-class family as the eldest child of Don José Ruiz y Blosco and Maria Picasso, Pablo's father was also a painter. Picasso was talented in painting from a young age. From the age of seven, Pablo received the necessary tutoring and training in drawing and oil painting from his father. Ruiz was an institute-educated, traditionalist preacher. He thought that to become a disciplined artist, rigorous training was necessary. That is why he trained his son to observe and draw human figures and objects. However, Pablo loved painting more than other school activities. Pablo's father had to move to La Coruna in 1891 to get a professorship at the College of Fine Arts, and Pablo went there with him. The time they spent there was four years. The father, who had been eyeing his son's talents, realized that he was going a long way past him. In 1895, 
Pablo Picasso's seven-year-old sister Conchita died of throat disease, and this was an event that greatly affected Pablo's life. After her death, Pablo's family moved to Barcelona and his father secured a transfer to the College of Fine Arts in Barcelona. He requested the college authorities to admit his son to the higher class. The authorities responded to the request. Accordingly, due to Pablo's talents, the door to higher education was opened for him before the proper age. Pablo's father and uncle decided together to send this young boy, who showed immense talent in art, to the Royal Academy of Madrid in San Francisco. By 1897, he was 16 years old and started to make a living on his own while studying. Pablo, who was educated in Madrid, traveled abroad for the first time in 1900. He went to Paris, the capital of European artists, where he met Max Jacob, a French journalist and poet. Max helped Picasso learn the French language and literature. Soon they were sharing a room and Pablo drew when Max went to bed at night. After Max went to work in the morning, Pablo went to bed. They lived a miserable life. Pablo had to burn some of his paintings to warm their room during the winter. In the first five months of 1901, while living back in Madrid, Pablo drew cartoons about poverty for the journal of his close friend Francisco de. The magazine started publication on March 31, 1900, and was discontinued after five issues. At the beginning of the 20th century, Pablo's life was spent between Barcelona and Paris. In the midst of a storm, he meets Fernand Olivier, a bohemian artist, and the two soon have an affair. In the later period, you can see Olivier's image in many places. While gaining popularity and some wealth, Pablo distanced himself from Olivia and moved closer to Marcel Hubert. Many of Pablo's paintings with mathematical or geometric shapes were drawn for her. However, she was only 30 years old when she died prematurely in 1915. Pablo was married three times. He had four children from three women. Apart from that, he had many casual love relationships. Pablo Picasso died on April 8, 1973. The painting he finished before his death was titled this way. Toast to my health for me. You know I can't toasting anymore. That design is really like a design made by realizing that one is very close to death. Don't forget to subscribe to us and click the bell icon to watch such interesting information daily. Thank you.